Oh my lanta. Happy people, happy people. My pond has been taken over. Check this out. As many of you know, we have been on like this massive trip for the past month. Oh God, get down. <laughs> We're out in Wisconsin. Then we went over to the Pacific Northwest. We've been doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I just get home, look at my pond. The hyacinths, the water hyacinths have like turned it into a jungle. So we've got lots to do today. We're gonna try to clean this up a little bit. We're gonna feed the fish. We're gonna do all kinds of stuff, but first I wanna let you know something really awesome. Saturday, in two days, on Saturday, I will be at the Ormond Outpost in Ormond Beach, Florida. This is like an outdoor superstore for super cool people. I mean, it's like just a really nice place. They're having their summertime bash and they invited me to come by. So I'll be there from 11 to four. I'm gonna have all kinds of cool stuff. There's gonna be food. I'm gonna have my bows. I'm gonna have the RV. Sarah and the girls are probably gonna come. It's gonna be a great time. So if you can make it, I would love to see each and every one of you guys. Now, what do we do with the pond? Look at this, look at this, y'all. Let's grab some bread and see if they'll eat. That didn't take long. Alrighty. Hey, everybody, look how clear the water is. Are you crazy? Come here, you guys. Oh, man, they love it. They love it. Oh, dude, the bass just moused one of them little bit of brim. No! There's Sylvester the catfish. The bass are clearly feeling a little left out right now. I'm gonna, oh my gosh, look at all the baby minnows. There are like so many, look at this, you guys. Can you see them? So many minnows. Swimming right on the surface. Wow. Wow, these are all just fish that were, ha they're everywhere. Look at this. Those are all little baby minnows. So on my last pond video, I was talking about if we just left that the pond would sustain itself. Well, yo, it is not only sustaining itself, it's thriving. This is incredible. All the fish look so healthy. This is so cool. All right, so I wanna go get the bass a couple shiners, feed them some shiners. We've got a couple errands to run, so you guys, come on, let's go hang out. Having a truck with a black interior in the middle of summertime in Florida literally feels like it's about 900 degrees in here right now. I don't know why I don't start it up before I get in it and let it cool down. First stop though, we've gotta go drop off our tanks because next Wednesday and Thursday, mini season. And me and Joey Haluska are gonna be out there chasing them around. All right, y'all. Tanks are dropped off. This is Scuba Works. It's a nice dive shop here in Jupiter. If you're new, if you're looking for a dive shop in Jupiter, Scuba Works, they're nice people. And uh, it's where we typically get our tanks filled and whatnot. But uh, now I'm heading over to Jupiter Bait and Tackle. Okay, does this not drive y'all crazy? Every time I get in my truck, my Wi-Fi hooks up to my truck and plays some music that I don't even know what the heck it is. This little plaza right here is like one of the most old school plazas in all of Jupiter. That's the Jupiter Donut Factory, the Barbershop, the Connection, and Jupiter Bait and Tackle. I mean, you have the best donuts and the best subs, possibly in the state of Florida. Then you got Jupiter Bait and Tackle, which is just a little local uh, bait and tackle shop where I get, you know, all my live bait and worms and typically my freshwater stuff I get here. And then the barber shop, it's been here forever. So this is like a cool old school little strip mall. If you come to Jupiter, come check it out. Hey, got any shiners? Yep. You're on YouTube. You're a YouTube star. I'm a YouTube star. I need right. one dozen. One dozen. Shiners. 
that's fresh. Just came in. This is like my bass favorite treat. Anytime I come over here, get them little live shiners, they go crazy. Wait till you see this. I'm so stoked. We got so many videos to edit right now. When we were out in Washington, I mean, we shot some amazing stuff that I just have not had time to edit. Reason being, I've had Yappy Tuan Tuan, uh, Jiggin' with Jordan, and the almighty Jake down with me for the past few days. We've been having a blast, but it's just limited my time to edit. So, wanna get this one up this afternoon, and uh, I'm sure I will cut something rad tomorrow. So, I love you guys, man. I appreciate you hanging out with me. All right, you guys, here we go. This is the bass's favorite food. Who's up first? Ready to go for a swim? I want to jump in the water and see what it looks like in the pond with all that beautiful vegetation. This is incredible. My mask just broke. This won't work. All right, Sarah's probably going to kill me. This is her brand new mask she got for lobster season, and I'm getting ready to go diving in the pond with it. I know they say that these hyacinths are invasive, and I'm sure that they are because look what they've done to my pond. But when you just look, the entire root system is crawling with little fish. Guys, I don't know what else I can say. I am so proud of this pond. It has turned into just a magnificent ecosystem teeming with life. I was going to take some of these water hyacinths out of here, but the water is so nice and cool. It's crystal clear. So I don't want to disrupt the, the ecosystem. I don't want to disrupt the chemistry that we've got right now. It's very hot out, tons of sunlight. The plants are doing their job. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope to see everybody at the Ormond Outpost this Saturday. It's gonna be a great time. But for me and the pond, I love you guys. Take care, God bless, and we are gone. <laughs>